Hello and welcome to Infinity. In our series on blend modes, we're now going to look at opacity. It's not often thought of as a blend mode, but it is because it's a way of combining two layers and there's a formula involved in it. So let's, uh, you know, the blend mode basics is you've got two layers, you've got a formula of some sort that combines to what you see as the result layer. And opacity is kind of sits alone there. We've gone through the darker and lightened ones, but so we're going to have a look now at opacity. So there's a confusion about opacity, which we're going to talk about in a moment. So let's show it first. Let's start off here and go to File, New, and we'll just take whatever comes up. That's fine. Because now I can draw a kind of a circle here and let's fill that with red. There. Here we go. So we've got a red circle. Now then, we can change the opacity of that over here. So click on there and we can say, let's put that say at 50% opacity. Now then we'll click on the layer and hit Control J to duplicate it. So we've now got two layers so I can separate them out. And each one of those is 50% opacity. So you might think that if you overlap them, that you'd get 100% uh, opacity. Well, I certainly thought that until recently. Um, and if you overlap it like this, but you look at that, they're going, that doesn't look like full red to me. Well, a way to, to see that better is to actually go up to the document up here and set a transparent background, because that white is not really white. There's not a white layer there. So we can see here that all the way through, you can see the checkerboard. So you can actually visually see the opacity and look at that there. You can see those dots in between where you've overlapped them and they're just one on top of the other. And so it's opacity. The bottom one, if I turn that up to full red there, then yes, you're going to see red in that overlap. But we want to look at what's happening when there are two layers, because if you want to say stack multiple layers, you don't just add the opacity. So what's something worth noting with this, let's just do this quickly. And I'll go to, excuse me, the view studio and the info panel. And that is if I overlay this here up here, you can see that alpha is 127. So it's half uh, of that. That's looking at the n number here. Then over there, I've got alpha as well. But in between, what do I get? I get 191. Well, 191 turns out to be 75%. So I've got 50% here. 50% here and 75%, which is sort of interesting. It kind of hints at what the story is about this. So let's have a look at this in just on slides. I've got a bit more text in here. So I've got 50% opacity, 50% opacity, and I look down through it and what I see is 75% opacity. So I can see some of the checkerboard underneath. So what's going on here? It's to do with the calculation. And this is the way it works. You've got one minus, then one minus the base opacity times one minus the blend opacity. In other words, you invert each of them and then invert the whole thing again. So it's this kind of double negative thing you see with other blend modes. So in other words, if all layers are less than 100%, you will always be partially transparent. You need for it to be opaque, to see a solid colour, you've got the bottom layer has to be solid, 100% opacity. So looking at this again here, that calculation is you've got 50% here and 50% here. So to calculate that, you've got one minus here. So I got 50% and 30%. So here it's one minus one minus 0 0.5 with the 50% times 0 0.3, which is the 30%. So that's 1 minus 0 0.35, which gives you 65% opacity. So that's how you get that combination of things here. And 65% opacity is 0.65 times 255, which gives you 165.75. And they're just small. You can see A is one deed 165. I did 50 and 30 because it's an odd combination as to 50 and 50, which are both the same and it could be a bit confusing. So overall, key points about opacity, then it, opacity makes a layer translucent. Um, 
in the adjustments you can use it if you're doing something like curves and so on you just use it as a volume control you increase the effect or decrease the effect that's a very useful way of using it so it's just the strength of the effect you're doing but you can't just add opacity of layers you've got an the opacity layer and a opacity of this layer here you don't add those two up to get the final opacity it's that formula as we saw and the bottom layer can't really should always have 100 percent opacity and the values are also set in the alpha channel so whenever you get alpha or a for example in the channels panel you're going to see a equals one means opacity equals 100 percent it's the same thing but just expressed differently so typical use is you can combine pixel layers, get whole image toning things, you've got re you know, reducing effects, so in fill adjustment, filter layers and so on. And I'm going to show several examples in a follow-up video. Anyway, that's it and thank you very much for watching.